Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Collins here, aka the Crypto Enthusiast. And on today's video, I want to um, give you guys a step by step guide, especially the nubs, the, the newbies, a step by step guide on how to create my Eto wallet. Um, if this is your first time hearing of my Eto wallet, my Eto wallet is an online. Um, uh, is an online user-based uh, uh, light wallet where you can store your ether and ER all ERC20 tokens so it's kind of like a multi-purpose wallet where you can store all uh, tokens that are built on the ethereum blockchain and ether itself so it's a, it's a very very useful wallet and I'm going to show you guys how to do it how to set up the wallet and you know how to make use of it So guys, this is the website um, myetowallet.com. Um, they have some safety precautions here written down so that you don't mess up and lose all your funds to hackers. So this is the precautionary measures here. They say please take some time to understand this for your own safety. Your funds will be stolen if you do not heed to these warnings. You cannot recover your funds or freeze your account if you visit a phishing site or lose your private key what is mail m e w my Eto wallet is a free open source client side interface we allow you to interact directly with the blockchain while remaining in full control of your keys and funds you and only you are responsible for your security so this website the allow you to interact with the uh, ethereum blockchain but they don't hold any keys to your account you hold your private keys and everything so you you and you are only you are solely responsible for your security so you have to understand this first before creating your your wallet you have to know that you are responsible for your security the security of your your wallet and also your money so if anything happens to your wallet no one is gonna be able to recover your funds so we'll click Okay, uh, no, but can use uh, come on. Uh -huh, so so you're gonna come and click this last one and we are in for you know creating a new wallet so you come right here and you click here you click here that says new wallet so let's go ahead and click new wallet and um, the first thing is going to uh, prompt you to do is to enter a password so you want to enter a password you will be able to remember because it's with this password you will, you will be able to generate your private key and everything so let's use uh let's use the crypto enthusiast yeah. crypto
so we are done let me click the uh, so you can see the crypto enthusiast so that, that was right now let's create our wallet you click on create wallet and it's gonna prompt you to save a key store file so it's with this key store file you'll be able to it is either you use this key store file to log into your wallet or you'll be able to log in to your wallet anyone but these two things are the most important things you need to keep safe and you know enrich so let's download the keystone file so it's downloading it's done it's done so uh, because this is a, a tutorial I'm not gonna save this file uh, in, in um, somewhere I know yeah because it's a tutorial I'm not gonna bother saving the file but for you to create your own wallet when you're creating your own wallet make sure you go to your download and save the file is either you like encrypt it and save it in a USB drive or you can save it somewhere you know it's safe that uh, some a hacker may not be able to lay his hands on it because anyone that that has access to that keystone file and also has access to your password will be able to log into your account and they'll be able to withdraw your funds so let's click you click i understand continue um, so this is our private key guys this is our private key with this private key anyone that has access to this private key has full access to your account when I mean full access, full control over your account. So you have to be very, very careful, especially with this private key. So this website is awesome. You can be able to print your paper wallet. Uh, you can be able to print your paper wallet and, you know, keep your your uh, funds in the cold storage. You know, keep it offline. So, um, like, I've copied the... I've copied the private key now everything is done you have created your your you have created your your account let's go ahead and log in so to log in to log in we go to view wallet info you click on view wallet info You click on view wallet info and you will see all this list uh, options on how to log in and private key is one of them and also the keystone file that we downloaded is one of them but we're gonna use private key so you click on private key and you paste your private key in this box below so I'm going to paste the private key we copied earlier. I'm going to paste and unlock. So we have our wallet that we created just now unlocked. Um, this is your wallet. This is your, your wallet info. This is your address. With this address, you can send any ERC20 token to this address. This address right here. You can send both Ether and any ERC20 token to this address. So that's your public address. You can receive any token. Once it's an ERC20 token or Ether with this address. Then this is your private key. This is your private key. Um your address your private key and qr code so we have a balance of zero at we don't have any ethereum yet in this wallet this wallet is empty now this is where uh things get interesting 
you click show all tokens and you get a, a, a whole lot of of ERC20 tokens a whole lot of them so you have many ERC20 tokens here once you uh, send any of them to this wallet they are gonna reflect they are gonna reflect here so you can store both uh, your ethereum and ERC20 tokens in this wallet and um, why it's convenient is because with all these uh, many tokens you don't want to leave them on an exchange you want to store them so somewhere that is you know um, safe so that's why this wallet is is like the granddaddy of them all so I have there are many there are many tokens here let me see if I can recognize any so I know yeah cost we have cost token we have uh, well i can't recognize all these figures yeah so uh, any any token you want to store that is an erc20 token or you want you want a wallet that is uh safe you have your private keys no one uh, you know can lock your account you want to huddle your tokens, your ERC20 tokens, or your ETA for a long, long time. This is the wallet I recommend you use. You can print uh, it as a paper wallet and turn it into a cold storage, or you can just use it this way. And also, you have to be careful of phishing sites. What do I mean by phishing site? Anytime you want to log in, anytime you want to log in, I advise you you bookmark because because this address here can be mills you know a phishing site can just uh, put a little uh, misspelling in this site and lead you to another site and then steal your private key and that's it you you lose all your your, your funds so I hope this tutorial has been helpful and you now know how to create your my Eto wallet thanks for watching i still remain your crypto enthusiast please do subscribe and click on the bell notification button for more uh, videos coming your way thanks